Since 2014, the National Assembly under the auspices of the Office of the Auditor General has been carrying out a socio-economic audit of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. Part of the mandate of the working group was to assess the impact of the implementation of the Constitution to the nation's economy, and in particular its public finances. Recommendations would then be made to the National Assembly on remedial measures to enhance prudent management of the country's public resources. But it appears the first institution that must check itself against consumption and utilization of public finances is Parliament. According to the report, the country is overrepresented and MPs and MCAs are paid more compared to representatives in some of the advanced economies in the world. As such, the Edward O. Collet body recommends reduction of salaries of MPs, MCAs and all state officers of not more than 60% of the current gross pay, while not more than 40% of their present gross pay should constitute allowances. The parliamentary group also recommends reduction of the number of MPs and MCAs to ensure protection of national values. It further recommends that Kenya should adopt a mixed member proportional representation electoral system to ensure better representation of all Kenyans, ethnic groups and regions, and special interest groups including women, persons with disabilities, youth, marginalized communities, and other groups. Contrary to perception, the report poured cold water on concerns raised in regards to implementation of devolution. It instead points out that the new administrative units are delivering results and the question as to the number of counties should not arise. Concerning the judiciary, it was established that corruption is on the increase, thereby affecting credibility of the institution in addition to limiting access to justice. The report recommends that, among other things, the Judicial Service Commission should undertake a lifestyle audit of all judicial officers and staff, preferably after every three years. Eric Biegon reporting for Channel One News.